Jane Unchained, Europe, live in Berlin at a cult favorite for vegans and for non-vegans alike. I mean, the line here is unbelievable. Take a look at all these 100% vegan donuts. Uh, and it, it's just unbelievable. Uh, I will show you also from this angle, look at this place. Look at all these donuts. Every single one of them, 100% vegan. No dairy, no eggs. Absolutely delicious. Check this out. Oh, hi, Fabian. Good to hear from you. And we look forward to heading to the Luxembourg Animal Rights Conference. I was going to talk to this lady, but she is so busy because take a look at the line. The line is just around the bend here. Uh, I want to show you a little bit about what's so incredible about these donuts. A, they're, they're so gorgeous. And I can tell you they are so absolutely delicious. Uh, I don't know that everybody on this line's vegan. You don't have to be vegan to enjoy vegan donuts or vegan food because let me tell you, it tastes so good. That's how we're gonna veganize the world, by making absolutely delicious vegan food. Berlin is incredibly a uh, vegan place. Uh, you can see right here, everything is vegan. Everything is vegan. <laughs> and uh, these folks are so busy. Look at this line. All right, guess who we have here? That snarky vegan girl in the house. Fabienne Roger says, looks yummy. So we are gonna taste the peanut butter chocolate and the hibiscus. So dive in and tell me what you think, that snarky vegan girl. All right. Look at that. And I have some uh, vegan matcha tea with some oat milk. Oat milk is absolutely fantastic. All right, there you go. Look at this. This is so oh, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let you try the hibiscus one and I'll All try right. this one, how's All that? All right, okay, that's good. Look at that, oh my gosh. Mm. Heaven. That is as good as it looks. Heaven. All right, then guess what? You can come over here and hold the camera and I'm gonna try the other one, okay? So get it up and I'll give you this too. All right, yes, we won't be seeing a brick all along. Okay. All right, here we go. My turn at this incredible vegan donut shop. I don't want to mispronounce the name, so it's in the introduction because it is a very German name. Look at this, hibiscus donuts. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. I'm in heaven now. Some great matcha tea with oat milk. Mmm, delicious, delicious. I gotta tell you something. I'm gonna try the chocolate now. <laughs> Look at that, man. That looks so good. Wow. Mm. This place is. Absolutely amazing. Now, I was going to try to talk to the woman behind the counter, but as you can see, the line, we've been waiting for about a half an hour for the line to slow down, and it hasn't. It's just getting actually as long as ever. So, I'm sorry, we're gonna just go past you very quickly, and look at this, and look at this, and look at that. That's the one we tried, we tried that one. And we also tried that one, but there's so many other gorgeous ones. Just amazing. Now let me show you where this is. Excuse me, I'm sorry. We're here at one of the famous markets in Berlin. This is a riverside or, yeah, I think it's a river, a riverside market. And here's, even though that, that's definitely not a vegan market, although it has a lot of fruits and vegetables, it has a lot of fruits and vegetables, but uh, it's definitely not a, a strictly vegan market, but there you go. 100% vegan donuts, fresh and handmade. 
made with delicious coffee. And here's the name. It's called Grammy Balls Donuts. Fresh handmade donut specialty. And once again, it has the great Happy Cow review. Let me tell you, vegans, if you are interested in just going from vegan restaurant to vegan restaurant, I got to tell you, you should come to Berlin. I have never seen as many vegan restaurants in a row. And every restaurant that isn't vegan that we've been to has serious vegan options. Not just like, oh, you know, the inedible vegan options. I'm talking about serious, incredible vegan options. So we're here at Brahmi Balls Donuts, which is w very well known. It was recommended to us. Oh my gosh, right next door, there's another place that says vegan. I'm just looking at this. This is amazing. Look at this. Right next door, right next door is another one that says Riley Vegan Vegetarian uh, Organic. So what's here? I mean, this is yet another place. It's unbelievable. Um, that's the reflection, but let me see what's in here. Uh, well, maybe that's not open yet because it looks like a dinner place. But I gotta tell you something. Berlin is, I have not seen anything like it. And of course, we're from LA, and I'm originally from New York, so you'd think vegan Mecca, vegan Mecca, does it? Far, far outpaced by the amount of veganism here in Berlin. I have to say, to me, it's the number one vegan city in the world. And Donna Dennison, that snarky vegan girl, agrees. So we're gonna go back to the table and uh, I know you're busy. Is it always this busy? Yeah. <laughs> That's all she can say. That's all she can say because it's so busy. All right, Donna. I think we're gonna sign off for now. But it, it, to, to me, Berlin just takes it, takes the cake. Every, most of the places that we've been showing you, we have bumped into. Bumped yeah. into while walking yeah. around. Well, we've it's read, we've read about them, and then it's like one after the other after the other. Thank you, Sarah Siegel, for watching. Fabienne, we will see you at the Luxembourg Animal Rights Conference in a couple of days. That's why we're here in Europe, and um, it's just all great. So. The world's going vegan, people. I'm telling you, I see it here more than anywhere else. And we have to find out. Tonight we're gonna to talk to somebody who's an expert on Berlin vegan, and she's gonna to explain to us why Berlin has become so veganish and how the rest of the world can imitate that. So I think this is the best way to sign off by <laughs> doing a tight shot of some incredible vegan donuts. Signing off for now. Keep following our Vegan Europe tour. Jane Unchained Europe. <laughs>